Update time. Wotofo Serpent Mini in black. Look at there. Check it out. Alrighty then, YouTube. Welcome back. Uh, don't have a review today so much as just kind of a quasi-update and maybe a few more of my thoughts on the Serpent Mini after having used it for an extra five, six weeks now. Uh, long story short, I just really dig the thing. So, Wotofo, uh, when they released the Serpent Mini, originally came out with it in the uh, stainless steel version that I already reviewed. If you want to have my thoughts on that and get some more detailed information on the review, uh, just take a look at my uh, videos, and uh, it's the most recent one, I believe, that I've put up, and you can see uh, what I've done with it. Um, not a whole lot's changed. Uh, here's the original Serpent Mini that I did review. Nice little stainless steel uh, dealie there. Um, so, what did they do? They released that guy. It's a black, painted, uh, as far as I can tell, Serpent Mini, and um, not a whole lot's changed. Uh, pretty much everything's identical. Here's your packaging. Comes in the same little denim styled, I guess, for lack of a better word, whatever that is. Same warning, same stuff, same giveaway cards. Everything's identical in there, down in the glass. A uh, couple of small things have changed with this, other than the obvious. It is black, uh, and I like them both. On the original Serpent Mini, the AFC ring has a pretty, I wouldn't say loose, but a fairly loose uh, restriction on it. Not a big deal. The restriction on the black Serpent Mini, for whatever reason, is noticeably tighter. Makes precision movements a little bit easier, and I do like that. Something else that's different that I didn't like about this is the drip tip. Now, I like the drip tip that came with the Serpent Mini, except for one thing. It's stainless steel. I don't do stainless steel. I don't like metal drip tips. I just, I don't know. I don't like the way they feel in my mouth. I don't like uh, how they vape. I don't like how they get hot. Even though this particular one really didn't because it has that hollowed out insert. I don't know. I still didn't care for it. The drip tip that they've included with this has the exact same design, the exact same shape, except, and forgive the juice that's on this, it's Delrin. Because of that, I actually use it on this tank. It works with it, it looks really nice on it, it was designed to work with it. And I've been using it. Um, really that's it. Those are the only changes to it. Um, but because I have a black mod here, I like having the black tank. I think it's just kind of a little matchy-matchy deal, and I think the drip tip does fit a little better. Now, a uh, word about the drip tip. You'll notice that I've got different colored O-rings. This drip tip has the stock O-rings on there. They came with little black O-rings, and they've got a really, really tight tolerance on them. I replaced them on this particular drip tip because of what I'm about to show you with the stainless steel version. You pop this in there, and even when there's juice in there, you get that thing on there, and you can just see it on camera there. There's a little tiny gap, and I can never quite get rid of it, and it sits just a little bit cockeyed on there. And that's because of the tolerance of the O-rings. It's just not allowing the drip tip to go down all the way. I replaced these with some little silicone O-rings that came on another drip tip, and boom. It just fits. And they fit tight enough that I can pick up the mod by the drip tip. So if you're going to get this or the stainless steel serpent mini, just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, you might want to replace those drip tips or it's not going to look uh, really all that great on there. It, it's going to sit not quite flush. How does it perform? Identical to the other one. The build deck is the same. The inside of it is exactly the same. The only thing that has changed is that the outside of it has been coated in this paint 
or ceramic coating or whatever it is. The bottom is still unpainted. The inside of the fill area still unpainted. And you can see the chimney, it is unpainted. The entire build deck is unpainted. Um, while I now have two serpent minis, I can actually show you a little bit more about the build deck. And I'll go ahead and break this down for you. The black one's gonna be identical. So obviously I already showed you the drip tip pops off. And then you've got an easy top fill. Nice little gasket there. Does a pretty good job sealing against that. Big, gigantic, kidney-shaped uh, fill holes. And you can see right down to the bottom of the deck all the way to the uh, 510 pin. From there, it comes apart really easily. Grab the AFC ring, crank it backwards. Really good, good, smooth threading. And you are left with the chimney with the glass on there. Kind of pop it off to the side a little bit. The glass pops off if you ever want to replace it or if you accidentally broke it. And this does not further break down. And there's your little silicone O-ring. I've replaced it with the original clear one that came with it. And here's the business end of the atomizer, your build deck. Try to get some less glare. There we go. And you can see kind of at the top and the bottom here, uh, this is what I was talking about in the last review with those staggered uh, post leads. You can kind of see it better if I hold it like that. The wire that you use, whatever coil you build, canthal, whatever, is going to lay right into those. Have your leads pointed in opposite directions. Make sure you do a counterclockwise rather than a clockwise wrap, and it just sits in. Then you tighten up the grub screws on either side, and from there, lift up your coil, wick, get it into these nice little juice channels there. If you look closely at these juice channels, you see kind of a step platform in there. Uh, a lot of people preach different ways to wick this thing, and I've done it all the different ways, and they all seem to work pretty well. Uh, run the wick all the way down to the bottom of the, the juice well, down past that second step. Works perfectly fine. I've never had a dry hit doing it that way. Run it up just to that top ledge there, that uh, little step that's up there, and I've never had it flat out on me. And to be perfectly honest, they wick very similarly in either fashion. That's it. Uh, you got this nice three and a half, four millimeter, uh, I think it's four actually, four millimeter airflow hole that leads to these big AFC slots. Is it the airiest thing in the world? No. Neither is this one. They're identical. Um, certainly airier than a sub-tank mini wide open. No doubt there. I'd say you got about 50% more airflow out of this thing. But this is not a Griffin 25 or anything like that. So uh, clouds bro clouds is not going to happen with this. But you're going to be able to do decent cloudage with it. Not bad. And uh, this particular juice that I'm running, it's very sensitive to temperature, so I'm running it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 watts. And it's doing that. Not bad at all. This is my typical build. Um, single vertical, stainless steel 316, uh, clapped in. This one comes out to 0.47, a little bit different than the last ones that I built. But whatever, it just works. I really like this much better than the, well, it's disassembled, than this, simply because it matches, and I love that drip tip. Things that I uh, would like to have seen with this, now that I've had an extra month to work with it, what are my thoughts? Uh, well, let's go into the pros. You get tons of cloudage out of this thing. I mean, you really do. For what it is, uh, a low-power, single-coil RTA, you could produce a lot of vapor. Again, you're not going to win a cloud chasing competition or anything to that effect, but hey, that's not what this is about. It's a single coil flavor chasing Addy that happens to produce decent clouds. That's the way I look at this. Uh, compared to other single coil RTAs, uh, Goblin Mini, things like that, Bachelor Nano, I've had a chance to play around with that. By far, this is my favorite. Um, it gives me really good options for cloudage. If I close the airflow control all the way down, you really can't see it on there. There we go. I can get a really good mouth and lung hit off of this.
Not bad at all. Now, it's a little warm because I'm doing this at 40 watts, but, nah, it is what it is. Man, that's good. Or you can just open her up and go completely. Direct along. Anything in between. This thing's very versatile. I really like it. Uh, not a whole lot else to say um, in the way of pros. It's just a good tank. Cons. Just like the stainless steel version, the black one does not come with juice flow control. But that being said, I've never had the thing leak on me. Uh, even if I top fill it with the airflow wide open, I've never had this thing leak on me at all. I might get a little gurgling for the first couple of hits or something like that, but that is what it is. Um, aside from that, you know, performance and feature-wise, that would be about all I'd want to see. Uh, I would also personally like to see, and this is just a subjective thing, an option for a colored glass. I'd love to see this with a black or a charcoal colored uh, clear or frosted even glass. I think this thing would just look absolutely disgusting with that. And I'd be all over that. So maybe one of these other companies like Vape Soon or whatever that do third-party glasses are going to make something for this at some point. And if they do, I'll pick one up and I'll give you a little blip video just to show it to you and see what it's like. It's a really good match on this uh, mod. I and mean, It really does look sexy on it. And uh, if you've got something like the iStick Pico, Pico, whatever the hell it is, the all-black version especially, I think that thing would just really, really look killer. Uh, not sure what else to say. Um, it's the same device, it works the same. Just looks a little different, and functionally, you got the Delrin drip tip versus a stainless steel one. So thanks. Yay, good. Not a whole lot else uh, about this thing. I can very highly recommend this, uh, having had about six, seven weeks of use behind it, something like that. Um, it's still my go-to. Uh, I've used other RTAs, I've used other tanks. In, in the meantime, it's still what I come back to all the time. It's just a high-performance, flavor-chasing beast. I mean, really, there's no other way to describe it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you like it, uh, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, and come back for more videos. Uh, really, I've got nothing else to say, so... Vape on, vape strong, and support our rights to vape by supporting advocacy. Uh, do what you got to do. Join CASA. Uh, if you own a business, join Safada. Take a look around. Notblowingsmoke.org is a great place to look, and uh, all kinds of other uh, YouTube reviewers have links to all kinds of advocacy uh, resources. So take a look at those. Uh, if you like to vape and if you're at all passionate about it, do yourself a favor. Do us all a favor and support it. Talk to your representatives. I'll get off my soapbox about that, and I'll leave you.